Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for joining me once again. You are always most welcome. Well, this is just a very quick one. This is a trailer for my review of the Airfix 24th scale Spitfire. But, before we can get into that, I want you to consider this, all of you. This, before me, is... 32nd scale version of the Spitfire Mark 9X from Tamiyar. And this really is uh, the sort of gold standard of Mark 9 Spitfire. I'm going to just pick it up here to get a quick, a quick look at it. Here we go. Uh, I have shown this before. Nice invasion markings. It's in the colours of Charlie Fox, the Canadian pilot who shot up Field Marshal Rommel's uh, staff car uh, near a village called St Montgomery on the Livero Road in Normandy uh, became quite a notorious event of course a big turning point in the war in, and the battle in Normandy in particular but we've got some beautiful details on this kit and it's worth just remembering how good it is and when we're thinking about the FX24 scale which is a bigger scale and therefore has much more scope for improvements um, I just wanted to sort of remind people just how good this model kit is. Now, <clears throat> there were just one problem with this kit, one problem only that I encountered. It was sublime, apart from here, the exhaust pipes. Unfortunately, Tamiya chose to make the attachment points right in the middle of these exhaust pipes, these fishtail exhaust pipes. Now that is a big, bigger problem than it might sound, because um, I did have to point out to somebody who can criticise me when I did the review on this, the after bill review, and said, "Oh, um, you haven't." He saw the photos and images on the video of my model, and he said, "You haven't done a very good job of that. You haven't got rid of the seam lines that are on the exhaust pipes." Obviously not being aware that the real aircraft has got these weld lines right down the centre of each fishtail exhaust. Now this, this attachment point that Tamiya put was right in the middle of it and it was a really big problem. Now I was going to put resin ones on but that turned out that they were worse because they, they looked perfect, didn't have the issue but had bigger issues. They wouldn't locate properly and, and I had a quick go and it became obvious that that was going to be a bigger problem. So I had to go back to the kit exhaust pipes and engineer them myself. I had to very carefully scrape them and make sure that I retained, scraped them in such a way that I retained some of this seam down each exhaust pipe. Now I hope Airfix have learned from that, um, I really do. Another thing that worries me about the Airfix kit is they do have a habit on most of their kits, even the recent ones, um, even the Anson I think, which was a fantastic kit, but having split wheels, I don't like that. I don't understand why they continue to do this split wheel thing. And of course the other thing is that this, this model came with a pilot, two pilots in fact, one standing here, and a seated version as well. And I've got a horrible feeling that Fairfix are not going to provide that. But we'll see. What else? Um, yeah, tell me how I avoided any unnecessary seams, and the, the, they did a beautiful job of this kit, and it just went together in a sublime way. I have a habit of making most of my kits, even the aircraft, in quite a modular way. I kind of bring things together. Um, toward the end of the build, I sort of um, pre uh, have pre-sub assemblies and then bring them together toward the end. Works very well for me. But anyway, it worked well with this kit especially. Let's see how the how the uh, Airfix one looks. I'm just trying to think of anything else. The clear parts on this aircraft, beautiful. Um, but there was a very fine, very, very fine seam down the middle of the um, canopy, which we're hoping Airfix will avoid. Very fine on this, so it was very easy to get rid of. Um, and I did add a couple of things. Um, Tamiya had rubber tyres, which, ah, that's not ideal either, is it? So I, I did replace that with resin, but anyway. Oh, and the, the cannons are, are metal ones as well, they're aftermarket cannons. So there's just a couple of things, and, uh, and the Rolls-Royce plates. Now the thing that the, the thing that the, one other thing that Tamiya could have done better, of course, was the lack of the wiring and piping around the engine. Just have a very quick look at this while I go. 
this is another thing which I'm pretty sure Airfix have, on the 24 scale, they can't do the same as Tamiyar because it was just insufficient really. If you look carefully you can see there that there are um, pipes and cooling pipes and wires and things. I added all those and, as aftermarket um, and it was a bit of an emission. That was the one thing that... It's tricky at 132nd scale I know. So Tamiyar didn't include those things of course. Airfix, I think, are going to do that. Uh, they're going to have all this wiring and piping and stuff. So we, anyway, we'll see. We'll reserve judgment. But that is the standard. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed making it. You know, they were very good at avoiding ejector pins in the worst places. And frankly, it was a beauty. So there you go. That's a bit of a trailer for you. I just wanted to talk about what. You know, if I give a, a judgment on a kit, I'm always thinking about what the market was at the time. I was I was a bit questioning of the um, 24 scale Spitfire being the Mark 9. I wanted it to be a Mark 1 or not at all really. However, I do understand the marketing reasons why FX chose the reason, you know, went down that path and made the decision to go the Mark 9 route because it, it's, it gives them an in to other markets apart from just the UK. But all I'm saying is we will, we will judge it fairly. You've got to bear in mind that this kit, the new kit, is a little bit cheaper, it's very good value, it's uh, about £95 retail, which is cheaper than this one is. So that's got to be bearing in mind, okay, fair enough. But we'll see, we'll see. It's a big target, it's a dangerous thing, I did say this at the beginning of the year when it was announced. It's a dangerous thing to go into a market where there is such a superior high quality example. You've got to be at least as good, I'm not saying they have to be better. And they're going bigger, but they've got to be at least as good uh, in terms of quality. But we shall see. Anyway, enough from me. That's just a quick trailer saying come back later and see the actual full review of the 24 scale Spitfire Mark 9C from Airfix, the kit everybody's been waiting for. Is it going to thrill us? Is it going to bring us joy? Or is it to disappoint me? We shall see. All will be revealed later. Thanks a lot. Please come back and watch the full review later on. In the meantime, look after yourselves and bye for now.